this is Samantha here from RecipeThis.com and the voice behind the popular kitchen gadgets podcast Magic with Gadgets and also the author of your air fryer cooking times guide, the complete air fryer cookbook and air fryer easy every day. The reason I've got all three of them in front of me today is because I want to showcase a recipe for you that kind of comes together where all three of these meet together. So first of all, we made for you the uh, complete air fryer cookbook. And then in this, I have a delicious recipe uh, for Sergio's potatoes. These Sergio's potatoes are named after a Portuguese guy called Sergio who had an amazing restaurant that we used to visit when we lived in the Algarve in Portugal. And these potatoes were so good that everybody, when you were having dinner together, would always ask for leftovers. You would want more. They were that good. And they were basically garlic cube potatoes with some bacon. So we featured these in an air fry version for our first cookbook. And then in our second cookbook, Air Fry Easy Every Day, we actually teach you how to cook canned potatoes in the air fryer. And then in our time and temps chart, we show you the cooking times for cubed potatoes, canned potatoes, sliced canned potatoes, and so many other potatoes. Because potatoes are among the list of everybody's favourite foods to cook in the air fryer that they want the time and temperatures for. So today, what I decided to do is to combine the forces, bring everything together and take the Sergio potatoes recipe from our first book, but take it to canned potatoes. So using some cheap canned potatoes from Tesco's and then putting it together in the air fryer using the time and temps chart that we've made for you. And I just think it's a great all rounder. And if you've not had canned potatoes before in the air fryer, they are delicious. And if you just fancied a bit of Mediterranean cooking and you're thinking, I want something cheap, but that tastes delicious, then this is it. So I've got some cheap uh, cooking bacon there from the supermarket. I've also got some salt and pepper, dried thyme and dried uh, parsley. I mean, you can use anything you want, really. Some mixed herbs is also great. And then I've got some garlic puree. It's the cheat's easy way. And then to add a bit of Mediterranean in, I've actually gone with some um, garlic flavoured um, olive oil. So then you want to start by grabbing your canned potatoes and then get yourself some kitchen towel. Or if you're in the US, you call it paper towel. And then just grab your canned potatoes Make sure you, uh, you've drained them first and got rid of any excess moisture. And then just give them a quick pat because you want the olive oil and seasoning to stick to them. And if there's too much moisture on them, uh, then they won't go as nice in the air fryer. And gently without them all flying everywhere. Get rid of your kitchen towel. And then what you're looking for here is because of the kind of recipe it is, uh, but for the rest of them, what you can do is you can slice them into cubes. So then just imagine you're giving cubed potatoes for dinner. And then, as you can see there, we have now diced all the potatoes and we're ready for seasoning it up and making it even better. So a bit of extra virgin olive oil or another flavoured olive oil like we're using garlic flavour salt pepper parsley thyme or if we're thinking from a Portuguese from a Spanish point of view it's called tamelia and then once you've got all your seasonings in, the last one I'm going to add is some garlic puree. Aim for just over a teaspoon of the garlic puree. And then get your hands in there and give it all a really, really good mix. 
but be gentle because it's so easy um, for the potatoes to be break to be broken because remember they're partially cooked when they're going in the can to preserve them so it means that they break much more easily so then once you've done that give your hands a quick wipe and then once you've grabbed a tea towel and dried yourself off you can open up the air fryer basket so what i've got here is i've got a full portion here of canned potatoes and now you can get them on so i'm using the cookbooks as my guide and the time and temperature chart so i'm going with 15 minutes at 180 celsius that's 360 fahrenheit and then the potatoes will be well on the way to then add in the bacon and we've beeped so let's check shall we on those potatoes so far and wow they're looking yummy you can hear the crisp on them already and of course now they just need some bacon adding in so got some bacon got a knife and then i'm just going to use the knife to get into the packaging here and that'll be enough bacon and it's all stuck together but this also makes it really really easy for slicing up Obviously, I wouldn't use this if I was doing a hunter's chicken. I would just get some nice slices of back bacon for that. But for this, because you're just chunking up some bacon, it's perfect. I can hear the rain outside. And, you know, it's one of those times where you just fancy some comfort food when it's raining outside. And some potatoes with some bacon is just so nice. So, I've got some nice chunks of bacon there now. So... Pop the bacon in, pop it on top of your potatoes or you can stir it in depending how you prefer it and then in it can go. So air fry back on, 180 celsius that's 360 fahrenheit and then another five minutes and then press start. Did you know that we have a free air fryer mini course? It runs for five days, is delivered by email, covers five important air fryer beginner topics and includes a free PDF and free recipes. Simply head over to recipethis.com and search mini course for full details. And we've beeped! So let's check on our potatoes and bacon, shall we? Wow, look at those. Don't they look absolutely fantastic? Wow, aren't they amazing? I think they're absolutely fantastic in the air fryer. And if you've not done canned potatoes before, then you absolutely must. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Like I say, I prefer canned potatoes so much more when they're chopped up like this because you get the flavour everywhere. You get the olive oil crisp everywhere. And it doesn't feel like you've got a lovely... Um, on the outside flavour and then nothing in the inside like you'd get with whole canned potatoes and there's just so many different things you can do with them i mean obviously this is based upon a uh, quite mediterranean recipe but you could use them in any way you wanted you could turn them into roast potatoes if you wanted to and they're just great and they're cheap and they're good to stock up on uh, so that if you're a few days late doing your grocery shopping then you've got these to lean back on for cooking in your air fryer have you checked out Air Fryer Easy Every Day yet? It's our brand new air fryer cookbook, following on from the success of the Complete Air Fryer Cookbook. It has over 140 everyday air fryer recipes for you to follow along with at home in your air fryer. Perfect for different types of air fryers too, as it covers the air fryer oven, basket and dual air fryers as well as some fun recipes if you're cooking for one. So what you're waiting for, go and order yourself a copy now and you will not be disappointed. It's from 12 years of air frying. And thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to follow us on Pinterest, Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel and of course you can also find us on TikTok. But best of all, head over to recipethis.com forward slash news Newsletter to join our weekly newsletter and I'm Sam and thanks again for watching